I had one hope or purpose or intention behind my work or why I do it, I would say to kind of like bring that dream, imagination, fantastical world that's inside of us out into our world and let it occupy some space and color it and brighten it and it could inspire future artists or generations of people to do whatever they can to bring that dream good creativity into the world, you know? Artists or not, we have like a great opportunity, especially right now, to do small, subtle things and change and make it easier for whoever comes next. When I was a kid, I was like, what do I want to be when I'm older? You know, everybody's always asking you. And my first response was Batman, just like to be that vigilante superhero type thing. And uh, they always said I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So then I changed it to artist and people still told me I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. But I just kept up with that and then I became catnip. And that was kind of like my Batman. So I, I achieved it, yeah. I've been drawing and painting my whole life. Like I remember math class and stuff, I would finish the assignment really quick and then start painting. Yeah, so it just stuck with me. I've always been sustained by my art, but like at first it was very small amounts, you know? Like I tried to do normal jobs, but it just wasn't really for me. All I wanted to do was draw, so. Now it's really good. <laughs> like I'm stoked to be able to create for my community and make art for a living. It's always a surprise. I wake up and I'm like, oh, what should I do today? Well, make art again. <laughs> From a community level, I was always kind of like accepted, you know, people liked what I was doing. At first I would go out with friends, do like little street art pieces here and there and kind of like beautify the town. And one particular time we got reported by someone out in the harbor when we were underneath this bridge. Me and a good friend of mine, Adam Cram, who's sadly not with us anymore, we got caught together and uh, had to face the, the justice system, which took a long time, like six months. And then because of that, with him, we got to know city council. We got to like schmooze with all these people who like opened the doorways for us, gave us art shows and tons of opportunities. From that, I kind of like became more in the eye of the community and people started wanting like their garage doors painted or sides of their businesses. And even the city would reach out and let me paint something for them. And that was like awesome. And even a couple times I wrote proposals, I asked the city and they just totally unanimously let me just cause they wanted to do it. And then uh, led to this big one, which was the water treatment plant, which uh, the whole community actually raised money for it bringing art into the picture kind of is an easy way to beautify a space and revamp it. And so I think there was a big demand. I came in at the right time and people just wanted more and more murals. Still to this day, I get so many projects now. In communities like this, like color and beautification projects can really improve areas, like especially since it rains a lot, it gets cold and you can go out and go for a walk and see this piece of art that's a piece of the community, tells a bit of the story of the place and just uh, affirms a little bit of like happiness in the place. Yeah, it's kind of a weird wiggly one, but I, I realized I didn't like really look at it while I was painting it, <laughs> but it was fun. If I could have any hope for my work and what its purpose is, I would hope that it uh, sort of links our reality and brings that glow in from the fantastical dream world of our inner selves. All that hope and creativity just out in the world for us all to see and share together. And I hope that it can inspire more people to color their towns or add whatever they can to their communities and places on the earth.